Washington's Paid Family Medical Leave Program offers paid time off to public and private employees for qualifying events. From 2019 through 2023, the program collected $4.5 billion in premiums. It paid $4.2 billion in benefits on more than 700,000 approved applications. Employees and employers pay premiums to fund leave benefits. The premium rate formula, which is set in statute, hasn't produced enough revenue to cover program expenses. This has led to negative account balances and rate volatility. A revised rate setting process could make the rates more stable and promote financial sustainability. Rates can be set with a forward-looking process based on estimates of future revenue and benefit costs. Currently, it only uses data from the last year. Second, the process could use a reserve floor or target. A reserve is an amount of money set aside to pay future benefits. A floor or a target would allow rates to change in order to maintain a financial reserve sufficient to cover shortfalls. The legislative auditor recommends the legislature adopt a forward-looking rate setting approach that maintains a sufficient financial reserve. The Employment Security Department, or ESD, administers the program and has implemented essential parts of it. However, it needs to address project prioritization, employer audits, and customer service timeliness to meet best practices. The legislative auditor made several recommendations to improve ESD's program administration. Full details are in the report. Thanks for watching.